For the longest time, the skin was viewed as an isolated organ, but in recent years, there have been a lot of exciting studies and data supporting that there's a really, really, really important link to your skin and this special organ inside you, which is the gut. Thank you so much to Ayer for sponsoring this video and making this happen. Today, we are going to talk about gut health and how it can affect your skin. Once upon a time, there was a little town called the gut. There were good bacteria and bad bacteria living in the same village, maintaining a very peaceful balance. Then one day, a tornado called stress hits, the rain called poor diet pours over, and buildings called antibiotics invade and wipe out the entire town, leaving only the bad bacteria behind. After the disaster, the wall that was protecting the gut town got collapsed and the bad bacteria from the gut town decides to travel outside and wreck the entire nation. The revolution of bad bacteria creates inflammation here and there inside your body and unfortunately it doesn't really end there. The inflammatory response eventually shows on your skin giving you that undesirable red spots called acne. Gut is like a house for good bacteria and bad bacteria. And when they are both in harmony, in balance, your gut is healthy, your body is healthy. However, if you're experiencing any kinds of gut issues, including constipation, chronic stomach aches, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, candida, or leaky gut syndrome even, that's when your gut fails to house all the nutrients inside and it kind of creates like cracks and holes and gaps to let the toxins in and out and the bad guys that should have been inside the gut lining travels outside, float around your entire body creating immune responses, inflammation and that can eventually reach to your skin. So this is just a whole new perspective at looking at skin disorders to be honest. So if you do personally struggle from acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis and you have tried literally everything out there that you can possibly do and you haven't yet treated it, you might want to look into your gut now. One study looked at 114 acne patients and 54%, which is more than half of this group, was suffering from small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is one of the most prevalent modern disease, I think. And that's much higher than population average. And then they divided the SIBO sufferers into two different groups. One got a treatment called intestinal microflora correcting agent, and the other group didn't. And surprisingly, the treated group cleared their skin twice as fast. Then there's another Korean study showing a very similar result. They looked onto the effect of lactobacillus fermented dairy beverage on acne. They found that the fermented beverage reduced inflammatory acne by 40% and I think that's a really remarkable number and of course there could be other factors contributing to the result so how do I know if I do have a gut problem? Oftentimes symptoms can be very very mild and it's easily disregarded as oh it's a stomach ache or oh it's just one of those days that I can't really digest but if those kind of symptoms occur pretty often I think that's when you want to get your gut checked identifying your food sensitivity should be done first and foremost listen to your body be mindful of what you consume and put in your body just pay attention to how your body and your stomach feels there's going to be certain foods that you have hard time digesting and that could be a really 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 good sign to eliminate from your diet antibiotics overuse is something that's easily happening everywhere in the world to be honest and i know antibiotics can be very very effective in treating any kind of disease disease or skin issues in a very short term, there is going to be consequences. Antibiotics are effective because it does eliminate and take away the bad bacteria that is causing the issue. It also does wipe out the good bacteria. Once your entire microflora, which is the bacteria ecosystem that is running your body, that's making your body function as it's supposed to, once it gets disrupted, it will not only affect your immune system, but your overall health can be also compromised as well. So use antibiotics 
only when you absolutely need to. Now let's move on to my favorite topic, how to eat for your gut health. Poor diet can be so detrimental and that's number one issue that can really be problematic to your gut and overall health to be honest you are what you as a past acne sufferer i really really benefited from changing my diet and choosing the right supplements you might have heard of probiotics and what it basically is is basically a live bacteria that your gut thrives on your gut definitely needs that strains of bacteria to function optimally and therefore having a clear skin is very very closely linked to eating probiotics rich food or supplementing good spectrum of probiotics that's needed for your skin and the one that i have been taking for a while is the california gold nutrition lactobif probiotics 30 billion cfu and it does contain two different family of bacteria which is lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. One report found that 47% of acne patients had some gut issue and 40% were experiencing constipation. Also, they discovered acne prone patients had an overall lower concentration of these two families, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium in the species of the bacteria that they had in their gut. So basically it means that if you do have acne prone skin, it might be better off to supplement this lactobacillus and bifidobacterium species. So this is what I take daily, twice a day. If you are looking for probiotics in foods, there are definitely a lot of different food sources that you can eat. Greek yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, and there's also kombucha. And kombucha has been gaining its traction in organic supermarkets, but I really don't like the taste. However, I did find this one, the Yogi Tea, the Green Tea Kombucha Decaf. And I've been loving this so much because it basically tastes like berry. It doesn't have that soury, weird taste to it. So I really, really enjoy having this probably once a day when I'm craving some tea moment. Also, there's prebiotics. And prebiotics is a food source for the live bacteria, which is probiotic. These are non-living, non-digestible by humans. There are numerous foods that could be your prebiotics for your probiotics. And it includes artichoke, asparagus, leeks, garlics, onion, carrots, coconut meat, flaxseed, pumpkin, chia seeds, and so on. I highly recommend you guys to take bone broth if you do have any kind of gut issues. It's something that I've been taking for over a year, I think, and it made a really, really, really huge difference in my digestion. So whenever I get stressed, I really get constipated. Basically, the gelatin in the bones really helps seal and patch all the little cracks and the holes of your leaky gut. So it is kind of like a patch to your gut, making your gut smoother so that you digest foods better and you can absorb all the nutrients from your food without losing it. This specific one is called Kettle and Fire Chicken Bone Broth. I love the chicken one over the beef one. I cook this as a base for my savory oatmeal or I cook this as a base for a soup or any kind of veggie soup. A lot of times I cook with this with rice or quinoa or other kind of grains that I'm having having it is such a game changer and i highly highly recommend you guys to try this out it's really really good i cannot address the importance of fiber enough especially in the gut health category fiber is going to really help your digestive tract to run like a really well oiled machine it also fuels the growth of the good bacteria as well so you're really getting a lot out of fiber you can eat minimally processed food and also look for fruits and vegetables that are rich in fiber a lot of legumes are rich in fiber as well however if you are looking for something that you can actually like just chug it if you're looking for something that's one shot one kill source this is something that you might want to get it's now foods psyllium husk powder i honestly can't lie to you guys it's not the tastiest thing to chug down your throat to be honest but it's going to be really really worth taking it our biologist who works for crave beauty she's been recommending to everyone in the team because she knows so much about the gut health and how it's linked to the skin and she has pretty much like flawless skin so everyone in the team has been taking psyllium musk all together including me and when i posted this on my instagram stories one of you guys have gave me one feedback that was truly valuable to share 
Other supplements that can help for your skin health is definitely supplementing fats, omega-3 fat. This is the California Gold Nutrition Omega-3 Premium Fish Oil. I do visibly see and feel results from taking omega-3 supplements. Like other water-soluble vitamins, I don't really feel it. However, when I do take fat-soluble vitamins or even omega-3 fatty acids, I do really feel it. It's because your skin cell is surrounded by a fat cushion, which makes up the cell membrane. And this incorporates all the dietary fats that you consume. But in typical Western diet, we are consuming probably high process omega-6 but not really enough of omega-3 so I think it's a good idea to supplement omega-3 so I have been taking this I noticed the plumpness more just healthily radiant skin the last cause is chronic stress how stress plays a role in our gut health is pretty obvious like if you do get stressed your digestive system kind of slows down and it's also a proven fact that stress can promote the overgrowth of the bacteria the bad bacteria that's not something that you want so really make effort to eliminate stress and be present each and every single hour. Practice yoga, practice meditation, go out to nature. I think stress is something that doesn't get eliminated by itself, but you need to have a specific mindset. Again, your skin is a window of your health. It's not something that happens just topically on the surface level. There might be a bigger reason why you're getting acne, why you're getting eczema. So definitely look into your body and what you're consuming and what you're doing in your lifestyle. This this topic is something that me and my research team are greatly passionate about so if you guys do have any questions leave them down below in the comment box all the products that I have showed you guys today are something that I genuinely really really love and I highly recommend to you guys and they can be all found from iHerb.com which ships to over 160 countries and they ship really really fast iHerb is just pretty much my number one go-to store when it comes to supplements, healthy groceries, some skincare products. There's over like 30,000 products up there and I really don't question their product curation. Because I've only had positive experiences, I'm sure you guys will too. And they do have customer support in 10 different languages too, if that will help you guys. So be sure to check the description box down below for the link. Make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. That will mean so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!